All right, we're gonna give you a little taste of the greenhouse. Some of the stuff we got going on here. Alan just planted this bed out with all kind of stuff yesterday. Turnip greens, uh, radicchio, lettuces. But we're just ending the windy season. So, there's that. When you come in here and you see an abundance of blooms. Now we can't eat these snapdragons. Yeah, we could. And they are edible, but they're in here to draw you know, insects in. We want multiple types of blooms in here, pollinating things, especially the brassicas. Here we still have the Portuguese um, tree collard flowering, which are always a delicious treat. When we come in here, you just eat a few of these. But what we're waiting for is these giant seed pods to develop. And inside of this pod here is going to be the glorious tree collard seed. They're not developed yet and I'm just killing them now. I'm squishing them. <laughs> but we have abundance in here. We've got fig. Um, take a look at this. This is an amazing fennel. Probably a really nice uh, bulbs under there. We've got strawberry. Take a look at our beans there. Those are some favas in the back. This parsley is flowering. Our lucid dreaming tarragon is looking amazing. And then we've got the veggies. We've got kales to the left, sorrel in the corner, beets right here on the ground. And then we have turnips and lettuce. And these turnips are really turniping out. I don't know if you can see that. We'll just take one of these out to take a look at the size of the turnips and we'll eat it. So there you go, there's our turnips currently. And then we've got some beets popping out over here. I haven't really checked on any of these beets, so let's check out a beet here for you. If I can get this out here nicely. And that's an early wonder. These can be harvested nice and small like this. And these are about two months old in our greenhouse. We've got about a hundred right here. What you want to notice is I just pulled a beet out here and there's another one in here. You can just push some dirt up and let it continue to grow. So these have another month to get these beets in. Probably another month to get these turnips out. This is only about two, three inches. This is about an inch and a half. But I can eat the greens. I can eat the, the veg on this. So we're gonna be eating that tonight. Also, if you notice here, the entire uh, arugula bed that was five feet high in seeding has been torn out. And that's now sitting out here in the sun drying in that pile. We got some nice, look at the lettuces we got here coming up. This is after we harvest, just a week later, we harvest again. On and on in the lettuces. We got some Rufec endive for a little bitter in our salad. And take a look at the blueberry bush. The blueberries are going to be pretty prolific, prolific this year. You can see some of them right there plumping up. And so... The blueberry's doing good. This plum tree isn't. Take the plum out, more blueberry production in here. That's what we're working on. The garlics all are, are all about to ramp, and they are a lot of them. So we're waiting on the first sign that this uh, garlic is ripening, and it is. And that's the state of the greenhouse. So what we're going to be putting in the back here, you can see Alan has put up this mesh, and that's we're going to try a little uh, bean production in here. Some Anasazi beans already sprouted. We're going to put them at the base and see how they do. We got some pretty nice snap peep uh, coming in here. I don't know if you can see any of the production. Just started. But it's always nice to be able to come in here. Mm, eat a fresh snap pea. And over here, you can see what the fava beans look like as they develop. Now, when they're small like this, you can eat them fresh. But they don't have much flavor. I go with the snap pea on a fresh. And as the father develops, it gets big, and you get this big pod with the big beans. So, pretty interesting. See how this one's drooping? Pretty productive plant. There's, there's beans everywhere. So that's good news. And every flower is a chance for a bean. And you can see how we have just food growing out everywhere here in this just a tiny area. Some grapevines. They're going to finally be going up after the third year in here. We might even pick up some grapes this year and just grow food everywhere. We've got these really nice um, 
lettuce is back here. This is a type of uh, romaine, uh, an heirloom from Italy. And so as they ripen, we'll just harvest the whole pot. We'll just cut it off and let it regrow. Cilantro is now seeding. And so we're going to have some more cilantro seed. And you can still eat the fresh green while the cilantro is seeding. This two-year-old uh, Luculus shard is going to seed. So we're going to have some seed from that. This giant kale is already seeding. Now, this is a delicious vegetable. You can eat the seed tops as a vegetable, and it's just fantastic. Or you can let these flowers open, which we will do, and get more pollinators in here. Tons of mint to go out in the... Um, we've got pumpkins back there we're working on. And so that's the state of the greenhouse. Food is free when you grow it. It takes a lot of work and a lot of failure. And really some of our interesting successes are up in these perennials here. The blood vein sorrel, absolutely just a gorgeous plant. And we're gonna be spreading this all over. The permaculture orchard, it'll come up every year, grows to zone three. Yeah, that's you, Alaska and the Arctic. And so just awesome. Also got some hearts of gold cantaloupe. And we're trying to do our best here. So biodiversity is the key. As you can see, you can be eating all of this and just, this is just two months of growth. And the brassicas are popping back here. This is always a treat. You just come in, pop off one of these and, mmm, yes! Get that nutrition you need. So I'm going to finish this up with a little uh, video on the hoop house we did yesterday because a bunch of you had some questions. We got some chamomile here just endless the biodiversity there's always something new coming up and as the temperature rises we'll have new um secessions coming in we got some dill coming in now that, that once the temperature gets a little high we'll get the dill coming in and i can't find one right now but i did find it subscribe to the channel if you haven't share this with like-minded people and watch the last little clip on how easy it is to open up those hoop houses be safe. We love you. Hey guys, this is just a quick follow-up from yesterday's video. People were wondering, well, do I keep the plastic on? Does it matter if I change the color? No. Typically, you want to use something to diffuse the light, at least 30%, like a greenhouse fabric. But you need to take this off by like 11 a.m. every day, or you'll cook the vegetables. This is to retain the heat at night. So the entire bed stays open from 11 a.m. till about an hour before sunset, and then you close it. Capture the heat, and then get that early sprouting. And I did it this morning. It took about two seconds. It just slides over, and you just put a rock on it. Tonight, I'll slide it back, do the same thing. So it's just that simple. It does take daily maintenance. If you do not open this up, you will kill the crops. So there's that.